What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Wednesday, June 22nd. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a nine game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. I like Jordan Montgomery. He's pitching against a low salary batting team, the Tampa Bay Rays. Jordan Montgomery giving up a .643 OPS versus righties and a .429 OPS versus lefties. He's facing four righties, two lefties. And I like this pick because the Rays have only hit eight of his last 42 pitches. That's a 190 batting average. He's 9,100 FanDuel salary and he's 1,700 less on DraftKings. Now, he's only averaging 28 fantasy points per game on the season, but he has scored 37, 46, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, has an ERA of 2.73, record is 3-1, pitching an average of 80 pitches per game, and Vegas thinks this is going to be a low-scoring game, 7.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under, so I like Jordan Montgomery here versus the Tampa Bay Rays. I also like Tristan McKenzie pitching against the Minnesota Twins. Tristan McKenzie giving up a .678 OPS versus righties, facing six righties. But the reason I like this pick is because the Twins have only hit six of his last 47 pitches. That's a 128 batting average. And that's a pretty decent sample size. So he's only 8,600 FanDuel salary, 100 more on DraftKings, averaging 31 fantasy points per game on the season. He has an ERA of 2.96. Record is four and five, pitching an average of 87 pitches per game. So I like Tristan McKenzie here versus the Minnesota Twins. Now I also like Eric Lauer with a nice pitching advantage here over a low salary batting team, the St. Louis Cardinals. Eric Lauer pitches his best ball versus righty batters, giving up a .660 OPS versus righties. He's facing seven righties here tonight, and the Cardinals have only hit 10 of his last 49 pitches. That's a 204 batting average. He's 8,200 FanDuel salary, 1600 more on DraftKings, so I love that FanDuel price, averaging 33 fantasy points per game on the season. He has an ERA of 3.57, record is 6-2, pitching an average of 92 pitches per game. So I like Eric Lauer, especially on FanDuel, here versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. So I like, who do we got here? We got a few picks. So I like Josh Bell with a 31% batting advantage over Tyler Wells. And Tyler Wells is a low salary pitcher. Josh Bell is batting a .838 OPS versus righties. Tyler Wells pitching his worst ball versus switch hitters, 31% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .814 OPS versus switch hitters. Josh Bell is one for one versus Wells. He's 3,500 FanDuel salary, same price on DraftKings, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games, and he has a batting average of 294. So I like Josh Bell here versus Tyler Wells. Now I also like Trey Mancini with a 17% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Trey Mancini 
batting 9% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .822 OPS versus lefties, Patrick Corbin, pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, giving up a .895 OPS versus righties, and Trey Mancini is 3 for 8, that's a 375 batting average, and a .944 OPS versus Corbin. He's 2,900 FanDuel salary, only 400 more on DraftKings, so I like that price on both sites, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season, and he scored fantasy points in all five of his last game, and he's he's got a batting average of 283, so I like Trey Mancini here versus Patrick Corbin. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Jonathan Villar with a 45% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Jared Ekoff. Jonathan Villar batting a .674 OPS versus righty pitchers. Jared Ekoff, he's pitching his worst ball versus switch hitters, 41% worse than his other pitches giving up a 1.842 OPS versus switch hitters. So Jonathan Villar is three for nine, batting a 333 batting average and a .777 OPS versus Ekoff. He's only 2,800 FanDuel salary. He's 800 more on DraftKings, averaging seven fantasy points per game on the season he scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games, and he has a batting average of 221. So I like Jonathan Villar here versus Jared Ekoff. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Matt Carpenter with a 30% batting advantage over Shane Boz. Matt Carpenter batting a .856 OPS versus righty pitchers. Shane Boz pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters, 32% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .953 OPS versus lefties. There's no at-bats versus Boz yet. Matt Carpenter is 3,000 FanDuel salary, 1,800 more on DraftKings, averaging 15 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 67 fantasy points in one game three games ago, so he's got some monster upside, and he's got a batting average of 258. So I like Matt Carpenter here versus Shane Boz. Now here's a value play. Take a look at Mike, uh, Michael Franco, and he's got a 51% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Tyler Wells. Michael Franco batting 12% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .659 OPS versus righties. Tyler Wells pitching 38% worse to righties as he does lefties, giving up a .697 OPS versus righties. So there's no at-bats versus Wells yet, but Michael Franco is only 2,400 FanDuel salary, and only 100 more on DraftKings, averaging seven fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 256. So I like Michael Franco here versus Tyler Wells. Okay, who do we have at the shortstop position? Uh, let's see who we got here. I like JP Crawford with a 33% batting advantage over Paul Blackburn. JP Crawford batting 17% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .775 OPS versus righties. Paul Blackburn, pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters, 16% worse than his other pitches, 
giving up a .824 OPS versus lefties. And J.P. Crawford is 4 for 10, batting 400, and a .900 OPS versus Blackburn. He's 3,100 FanDuel salary, 1,000 more on DraftKings, averaging 9 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 277. So I like J.P. Crawford here versus Paul Blackburn. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. So, like always, Mike Trout as a home run hitter uh, pretty, pretty much goes without saying, but he's got a pretty good spot. He's in a pretty good spot here versus a low-salary pitcher, Daniel Lynch. So, Mike Trout is batting a .954 OPS versus lefties. Daniel Lynch is pitching 47% worse to righties as he does lefties, giving up a .807 OPS versus righties. No at-bats versus Lynch yet, and Mike Trout is 4,400 FanDuel salary, 1,500 more on DraftKings, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. He has a batting average of 284. So I like Mike Trout here versus Daniel Lynch. I also like Taylor Ward with a 54% batting advantage over that same low salary pitcher, Daniel Lynch. Taylor Ward is batting 7% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .908 OPS versus lefties. Daniel Lynch, we know, pitching 47% worse to righties as he does lefties, giving up a .807 OPS versus righties. There's no at-bats versus Lynch yet. Taylor Ward is only 2,900 FanDuel salary. He's 1,400 more on DraftKings, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 312. So that looks like a fantastic FanDuel price under 3K. So I like Taylor Ward here versus Daniel Lynch. Okay, now here's a value play. It looks like this guy just got into the rotation. He's had four at-bats each of his last two games. And he scored 19 and 28 fantasy points in those two games. And his salary is still super low. So take a look at Bly Madras with a 24% batting advantage over Keegan Thompson. Bly Madras is batting 20% better versus righty uh, pitchers. Actually, it looks like he's only faced righties so far. It looks like only two at-bats. Um, yeah, I think only two at-bats so far this season. I'd have to check it, but um, he's got a 1.750 OPS versus righty pitchers. Keegan Thompson pitching a .727 OPS versus lefties. And Bly Madras is only 2,000 FanDuel salary, 1,600 more on DraftKings, averaging 23 fantasy points per game on the season. Yeah, so he has only played two games, it looks like, because he scored 19 and 28. So the average would be 23. And he's had two at-bats. Um, I'm sorry, he's had four at-bats each of his first two games. So I think he's in a pretty good spot here at near minimum salary. So I like Bly Madras here versus Keegan Thompson. Oh, now J.D. Martinez looks like he's a little underpriced here on FanDuel at only 3,400 FanDuel salary. He's got a 16% batting advantage over Tarek Skubal. J.D. Martinez bats 12% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a 1.002 OPS versus lefties. Tarek Skubal 
giving up a .703 OPS versus righties. Now, J.D. Martinez is 0 for 3 versus Scooball, but at only 3,400 FanDuel salary, this guy's a home run hitter, and he's got pretty good splits. He is batting to his strong hand versus lefty pitchers. Now, he is 2,100 more on DraftKings, but I love that FanDuel price, averaging 12 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 330, so I like J.D. Martinez, especially on FanDuel, here versus Tarek Skubal. Now, I also like Luis Gonzalez. He's got a 60% batting advantage over Charlie Morton. Luis Gonzalez batting 46% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .963 OPS versus righties. Charlie Morton pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters, 14% worse than his pitch to righties, giving up a .744 OPS versus lefties. There's no at-bats versus Morton yet. And Luis Gonzalez, he's 3,300 FanDuel salary, 400 less on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. And he scored fantasy points in all five of his last games. And he has a batting average of 302. So I like Luis Gonzalez here versus Charlie Morton. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.